Ladies and gentlemen, fellow citizens of Canada, patriots. I stand before you today, seething with frustration and indignation. The very foundation of our democracy is being undermined more and more by the blatant partisanship displayed by the current Speaker of the House. This is not just an affront to the principles of fairness and impartiality, but a direct attack on the integrity of our parliamentary system. The Speaker of the House is supposed to be the guardian of our democratic process, ensuring that every voice, regardless of political affiliation, is heard and respected. Instead, what do we see? A House Speaker who has abandoned neutrality, who has chosen to wield their power in favor of their party, trampling on the rights and voices of the opposition and, by extension, the voices of millions of Canadians. This is not just a betrayal of the office, it is a betrayal of every single Canadian who believes in the sanctity of our democratic institutions. The House Speaker's role is to maintain order, facilitate debate, and ensure that the legislative process is fair and just. But how can we trust in this process when the very person entrusted with these duties is so shamelessly partisan? We have witnessed the Speaker's biased rulings, the selective enforcement of parliamentary rules, and the blatant favoritism towards their party. This is not just unethical, it is a gross abuse of power. The Speaker's actions are eroding public trust in our Parliament, and this cannot, and must not, be tolerated. We, the people of Canada, demand accountability. We demand a Speaker who will uphold the principles of impartiality and fairness. We demand a speaker who will put the interests of the nation above the interests of their party. Anything less is an insult to our democracy. To Greg Fergus, the current speaker, I say this, your actions have not gone unnoticed. The people of Canada are watching, and we will not stand idly by as you undermine the very fabric of our democratic system. It is time for you to step down and allow someone who truly understands the gravity and responsibility of the role to take your place. And to my fellow Canadians, I urge you to raise your voices, to demand better from our leaders, and to fight for the integrity of our democratic institutions. This is our country, our parliament, and our future. We must not let partisanship and corruption take that away from us.